But let's go and create a supplier invoice. So let's hop into our costs. Let's press the new supplier invoice button. And again, you can do this from the front screen as well. And with costs, you have two choices. If you want to do a quick su supply invoice entry, you can just press this button here. But if you want to put some more information, some detailed information, you can do that with a photo. Uh, for this demo, I'm just going to do a quick supply invoice. You press this button and it pops up with this, uh, this screen here. This is where you can choose the dates, the amount. So this is the amount in the bottom of your supplier invoice. You can put some details in. And you can press add. And you can add as many of these as you want to. And if you press the confirm button, what's that do? That do is doing in the background is creating individual records of supplier invoices. So maybe if you have a on your in your van or your desk in the office, you've got a great big stack of these things, all this information can just be added really quickly. You can see over on the mobile side, the sync's happening in the background. It's there. Now, I've got this set up to ask for approval for any expenditure in my company. Um, so it maybe if you're the manager and you have staff, you just want to keep on track of anything that's being spent, uh, you can either accept it or reject it. If I open up these documents as well, you can see a supplier invoice is a fairly boring document but it's just an audit trail of everything that you've spent in the system. Expenses are identical. So if you press the expense button here, I can quickly create an expense entry. And uh, I mentioned mileage. So maybe we did 50 miles and the cost per mile is 20 pence. I can add my expenses without any hassle whatsoever. It's really, really easy. So this is capturing everything. Everything again is being backed up. And if you're a VAT registered business, um, really that's all you have to do uh, to start being able to calculate your VAT returns. And again, we'll talk about VAT in a later part of this video. Um, but Powered Now is approved by HMRC. If you wanted to use us to send your making tax digital VAT return, actually by doing this, you're uh, capturing everything that you need to be able to do that. It's insanely simple.